Hello, hello, and welcome back. Today I will be trying to convince you why Duty is the best faction to start as in Stalker Gamma. Once again, some of these tips will apply to vanilla Stalker normally and other mod packs, but this video is targeted towards the Gamma mod pack. If you are enjoying my content, hitting the subscribe button would be greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or want to come argue your case on why your faction is better, come join me live on Twitch. I hope to see you guys there. The most important reason and the whole reason I decided to make this video is due to the location of the duty base. Being located in Rostock, the duty base is one of the most central places in the zone. You can easily travel to southern locations such as the Cordon or the Great Swamps, areas in the middle like the Army Warehouse or Dead City, or northern areas such as Red Forest or Jupiter. This means that it's never a long walk to get a task done. Even before the game starts, you have access to one of the best early to mid game armors. The PS5 MT suit is a duty armor which has some great stats that can carry you through early to mid game. Stats to note are the high radiation resistance, which when paired with a cheap gas mask can make you almost invincible to radiation in most areas. The BR class isn't too high, but should protect you from shotgun and small arm fire from bandits. The rupture is okay, and with two belt slots, this makes for a great armor to start with until you find a high tier medium armor or heavy armor. On the same topic of great starts, Duty has arguably one of the best monetary starts, and this is all because of the arena in Rostock. This arena has two different fights you can take part in, Stalker fights and Mutant fights. Stalker fights will put you up against other Stalkers with a preset loadout. This means that you can't take any items into or out of the fight. However, if you are quick enough, you can loot money off the dead Stalkers which you will get after the fight. Mutant fights are a bit different. You can choose how long you have to kill the mutants with shorter times giving better rewards. However, to enter the fight you will need to pay a thousand rubles. I always recommend selecting the triple win option as 30 seconds is plenty of time to kill one pseudo dog. Remember that you can skin the pseudo dog at the end to get some mutant parts. Completing all the starting available fights will reward you with an extra 8,000 rubles, which is more than double what you would normally start with. Rostock being a central area means that lots of stalkers will pass through it. This gives you plenty of opportunities to get quests and earn more money. The bar is a popular hotspot for lots of stalkers and the barman will offer you a lot of tasks. This is a great way to earn money, stash locations and goodwill with other factions. Also, there's a guide in the Rostock bar which will take you to multiple useful locations, such as Zaton or the Cordon. Being based in Rostock means that you are right next to the army warehouse. This can be risky as you are enemies with Freedom, Mercenaries and Monolith, all of who are commonly seen in army warehouse, especially Freedomers as their base is there. However, this allows for a lot of high tier loot to be acquired early into the game if you are successful enough to kill them. When I did this, I used the 1911 pistol to start as the 45 ACP caliber does decent damage against low to medium armored stalkers. Note that the majority of guns you will find in army warehouses are NATO weapons, as both Freedomers and Mercenaries are NATO based factions, so expect to see a lot of 556 weapons. The final note is more of a convenience. In Rostock, the traders are relatively close together. It isn't as tightly grouped as, say, the Mercenary base in Dead City. But if you make your base in the Mechanic Trader's building, a Mechanic, Medic and General Trader are all easily accessible. Keep in mind that the Duty Trader is a Warsaw Pact Trader, so he will only be selling Eastern items and Animo. On that note, some of the issues with the Duty Start is the fact that they don't have any nearby NATO Traders. Clear Sky are far away on the outside of the Great Swamps, and Mercenaries and Freedomers are both enemies of Duty. You could go through the trouble of using a Disguise Mechanic, more on that in a later video, but I don't think it is worth it to go through all that effort just to buy some NATO gear, especially in Invictus where you can't afford for your cover to be blown. However, all the NATO ammo can be crafted and the trader Nimble in Zaton sells all the NATO sites at an increased price however. A similar issue to being far from the NATO traders is the distance from the starting story quest. The story quest, The Living Legend, first requires you to go see the Doctor in the Great Swamps. This isn't too far away from Rostock, but having to do this repeatedly at the start of every Invictus run can get quite tedious. 
The final main issue that I face while doing duty runs is the friendly fire from the duty soldiers while entering the duty base from garbage. The issue occurs when dogs spawn right next to the bridge over the spikes going into the base. If you try to ignore the dogs and run straight past them, they will most likely follow you and alert the duty guards. As they try to shoot the dogs, there is a chance that they will hit you by accident. I have almost died multiple times due to this. I found that normally hanging back and either picking the dogs off at a distance or waiting for the duty guards to kill the dogs tends to work out a bit better. And that sums up my reasons on why I think the duty faction is one of the best factions to start as, especially when doing an Invictus run. If you feel like there's a better starting faction, come join me while I'm live on Twitch or comment down below. My Twitch link will be in the description. See you next time.